There you go. Three clip. I think I filmed three clips on the run today. I carried the GoPro for 15 miles and used it in the last mile three times. Sometime, and this is connects to today's topic about how does running impact our daily living? Time. I'd say like, I I love I love thinking about time. I love processing like what we can achieve every single day and sometimes we're more efficient than other days and today was just one of those days where I ran out of time and I could not pull out the GoPro set it up run back go get the GoPro then continue it's like just one of those days in the Skechers Razor 3 and yes we did hit 50 miles today that was fun which means I'm gonna be publishing two videos today second video publishing at 3 p.m. mountain time a uh, full review of the Skechers Razor 3 but this vlog we're gonna talk about how running impacts our daily living I just love I love the topic I love the, all right off to the post office come on these are a few of my favorite things. Coffee and running shoes. Running shoes and coffee. When I'm feeling bad. I've picked up a passenger for these errands. Do 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 do. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Nothing today. <laughs> yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! <laughs> Date night! Woo! You think I have energy, YouTube? <laughs> You think I have energy? <laughs> we're Get on my level. <laughs> we're, we're, uh, we're off to date night and going to Hanson's, mm. filming with a GoPro tonight, keeping it simple, keeping it simple. It's so oh, cute. baby, five dollar, five dollar burger, five dollar, five dollar. And they're good burger. burgers and good fries. Oh yeah. Fries, you add one dollar to that, so for twelve bucks, burgers and fries each. Come on. Boom. <sighs> See you at Hanson's. Yum. And we are back from date night. Oh, it's hard to beat a $5 burger and french fries. I could eat french fries every day. I don't know about you, but I would almost put french fries above pizza for me. I just love a good french fry. And a shout out to James on Strava, who is from Ireland. And James is, is wondering how I'm fueling these long runs and like what I eat in a day. And so James, I will make a separate vlog soon about what I eat in a day. That's a good question. And uh, today was 15 miles, 24 kilometers, seven minutes a mile or 420 per kilometer. And the legs definitely were tired the last four to five miles because guess what? Yesterday was a long, it was a hard effort, 22 miles. Uh, so yeah, James, I will get on that topic of nutrition uh, soon, but guess what? Oh my goodness, I just thought of this. Tonight, this is, yeah, tonight at the live stream, 7 p.m. Mountain Time, I, I do have a book called The Paleo Diet for Athletes. I'm gonna dive into some uh, some subject matter from this book, which I read first in college back 10 years ago. Uh, so anyway, I will, we will touch on nutrition very soon because it is important as runners, uh, yeah, it's important to fuel uh, well and to fuel uh, these uh, strenuous activities that we put our bodies through on a regular basis. Okay, moving on real quick also, and before moving on to today's topic, I have been reduced to a webcam. That's right. I bought this yesterday and it did work today. I did a test with my brother for interviewing him live for all of you. I can't figure out the Canon camera, so we're gonna use a webcam in the short term and we'll just see how it looks, okay? So Sunday night 
8.30 p.m. Mountain Time. We're going to interview my brother live. And for all the high schoolers out there watching and college students, but especially the high schoolers, you're definitely going to want to tune in and ask questions about training in high school, how to get faster in high school, um, Foot Locker. My brother qualified for Foot Locker as a senior, so that'll be awesome for all of you high schoolers especially to tune in Sunday night. All right, let's move on to today's topic. How does running impact our daily living? Go. I have a list. We're not going to go in depth into all of them, but I'm going to read the list and then maybe rattle off a couple others. And of course, the real value will happen down in the comments. All right, so bear with me. Here you go. Here's my list of ways, whether it's philosophical, practical. Um, yeah, all right, you're ready for this. Here we go. Early wake-ups, very practical. Mission and purpose, endorphins, <laughs> prioritizing sleep, less alcohol, uh, less time hanging out with friends, efficiency in your day, uh, troubleshooting, and I would even just add, here's another one, um, your, an ability, a carved out time within your day to contemplate our lives, <laughs> all right? This world is insane. It's moving at a million miles an hour. Uh, it's instantaneous uh, information all the time, whether it's through YouTube, whether it's through Instagram. And so I think running is the perfect, and I need, I need to do better at taking my earbud out, right? And not listening to a podcast, not listening to music, and just be, and just think about what I'm doing with my day or with my week or with this training block. I don't know about you, but I really need to unplug just a little bit more on my running. Uh, okay, diving into a few others. Early wake-ups. Listen, I, <laughs> I'm i striving to edit the vlog quicker so I can go to bed earlier. Uh, and this connects into the, into the other points. As runners and long distance runners, for how running impacts my daily living, we have to sleep more. We have to sleep more. If we want to be healthy, if we want to fully get, get the full benefits from our harder workouts, like the big adaptation that happens within our muscles, within our uh, aerobic system, it happens while we're sleeping, okay? And endorphins, listen, as runners, I think overall runners are happier people. I know that's crazy, or another way to say that, are more joyful, like true joy. Like if you go meet a runner like that just is immersed in the sports and uh, we'll talk more about this at the live stream tonight, running culture, I think runners truly are more joyful for different reasons. One of them being we are naturally releasing endorphins into our bodies when we run and endorphins make us happier. It's been proven through science. So anyway, that's one way that, and maybe that's, I actually, I, I got a comment last week. Um, somebody, it was the best comment I could. Somebody was being critical of me and they said, I wish Seth was a little less energetic. And like, I don't know what else to say, guys. I am energetic because of the running. And running, it does make you tired and that's why you have to sleep more. It is why I have to say no a lot of times to going out and hanging out like at the bars with friends. Like, listen, we got to sleep. And I think running returns more energy to me. Uh, so anyway, it was one of the best comments I've ever received on this channel because listen, yeah, I have a lot of energy, but it's because endorphins are being pumped back into my body. And that's a beautiful thing. And so in addition to the endorphins being naturally released into our body, and then also our sleep is going to go up because we're working out harder and we're a little more tired, uh, how running also impacts my life, and maybe your life as well, is efficiency and critical thinking. And oh, we could talk about this all night, but I'll, I'll hone in on one thing. Basketball players, go to the gym. Uh, football players go to the football field. Uh, let's see, swimmers have to go to a pool. Runners have to critical, critically think about where they're going to run the next day and the next day. And you've got to plan out your week and you've got to figure out, do I want to go hilly? Do I want to go flat? Do I want to go on grass? Do I want to go on dirt, pavement? Uh, it's like the, the options are so 
vast in the running world. Like, we don't need a basketball court. We don't need a soccer ball. We just go run. And so we have more options, which means we have to, uh, you and you, you don't even realize you're making these decisions every single day when you're training, but you are critically thinking about where am I going to run that particular day. And so overall, like running impacts my life it, like 20 fold in a positive way. I think, and yes, the key word is impact. The only drawback that I can think of right now is frankly like saying no to social situations. Like, because I'm frankly too tired or I know I have a big workout the next morning. And that's that's too bad and I need, I need to work on that, being a little more social and getting out more, but you, I would say like to reach particular goals in running, you've got to prioritize it over other areas of life. Anyway, that's like a personal side. Like I, I do want to be more social in my living, but uh, anyway, we won't get to, too much into that. All right, question of the day. How has running, how does running impact your daily living? All right, give one example, maybe two. That would be amazing. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. Mm -mm -mm. See you tomorrow. See you to oh yeah, 3 p.m. full review of the Skechers Razor 3.